Okay, good evening. Naririnig niyo ba akong lahat? Thumbs up. Yes. Opo, opo. <laughs> okay, si Anaya. Okay, ayusin ko lang ito. Ako, Rachel, nawala yung iyong sinulat. Sorry. Ayan, makikisulat na lang ulit. Ayan. Okay, okay. So, kung kayo ay listening mode, uh, please uh, write letter L sa inyong sa beside ng name nyo para madaling ma-identify at uh, nang hindi na kayo matawag. Okay, dokie, dokie. So, okay. So, pag walang letter L yung pangalan nyo, uh, ibig sabihin, uh, tatawagin namin kayo. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. So, magbasa muna tayo no, ng ating mga praise report and prayer request. Good evening po. Coming from Rachel and Jairus. <coughs> uh, nag i na po. Alright. Praise report. We were very happy and blessed po nung kumanta si Rachel and Jairel nung linggo. And advanced reader din po sila for this semester. Plus, Award po sila sa math subject nila. May award. Okay. To God be the glory po. Wow. Man. We were surprised no? doon sa uh, song number nila. No? Nakaka-blessed. Akala ko talaga recording. <laughs> yung, akala ko recording sinasabayan nila. Yung pala boses pala talaga nila. That's a good one. And then traveling mercy po sa lahat ng uwi and mawala po yung allergies namin ni Jairus. Alright, so pag-pray natin yun mamaya. Thank you, thank you. And we have here additional praise report. PJ, okay. So tanongin natin mamaya kay Tita Josie yun. And then we have here Anjali, praise report. Wedding was successful in every aspect. Praise the Lord and everyone had fun and finally made things right for God. Uh, now we can only grow more maturely, slowly but surely. Thankful for those who help, especially PQ for coordinating the whole thing and PJ for officiating. Can't take everyone, can't uh, thank, uh, thank everyone enough for Idrik to get better from his cold and continuous protection for him at school and also either at work and his health. From Jan Marco, uh, praise report. I passed my final exam po and I'm finishing my last assignments for this term po. Uh, prayer request, uh, similar po, ka, po kay Ate Jel na traveling mercies po sa lahat ng mag-travel bukas. From uh, Ellen, uh, from, sorry, from Aileen Ruiz, uh, thanks be to God po sa 8th year anniversary namin ni Daniel. Wow, happy anniversary. Daniel has an upcoming glaucoma test on April 5. Praying po na everything will come out normal. Lagi po kasi mapula mata niya and parang they're aging too fast daw po for his age. Alright. So, uh, pray, su pray support from uh, Pastor Cled. Uh, successful wedding and Sunday experience. Prayer request, uh, midterm this Friday, seminar paper and a legal summer job. Uh, preferably in immigration. Thank you. Okay, and uh, who else? Just write down your praise report and prayer request and I will read it for you. Okay, we're done with uh, Giselle and uh, and uh, Tita Josie, may karagdagan ba kayo na praise report? Uh, Pastor, nakalimutan ko nga kasi yung aming apo nga, bless na bless po kami nung Sunday mm -hmm. sa mga apo namin. <laughs> Uh, napaiyak nga ako eh kasi naalala ko nung, nung maliit si Jacel, ay si Giel at saka si Jorel. Ganun-ganun edad nila. Nag-special number na sila sa church. Amen. Oya, tuwan-tuwa kami. Nakalimutan ko kanina. <laughs> bless na bless kami. At saka dun sa wedding nila, nila Anjali nung Sunday, ay nung Saturday, ay nakakatuwa. Talagang masayang-masaya po ang lahat. Praise the Lord. Yun lang po ang dagdag ko. Amen. Salamat po. Yeah, masayang masaya lahat talaga. At lahat ay uh, talagang uh, nag-enjoy no, sa party na yun. Opo, oh, napakaganda. Uh -huh. Okay, good evening, Tita Fe Dumok. Praise support and prayer request. Mm, 
I praise God and thank him. Today is my 40th year mm -hmm. in this country. Wow. <laughs> I thank God. I had no plan in coming over. I didn't have any idea that I needed to come over because I didn't hear anything about United States for people uh, coming here, you know, etc., cetera, et cetera. But God brought me and my family over. Mm -hmm. I thank God for for giving me 48 years in this place, in this country. And prayer request, yeah, we continue to pray for one another. We, we need to pray for the protection of our church, for our pastors, for our members, and for everybody else. We mm -hmm. need praying for one another mm -hmm. because um, praying together strength, strengthens the church. And God will always give what is what we need. He answers and provides our needs. Yan lang po, Pastor. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Potita Fe. And uh, congratulations for 40, 40 long years. 48, Pastor. Uh, 48. Sorry po. 48. <laughs> okay, okay. So, uh, good evening, good evening, Tita Rose. Okay, let's call Alison May. Good evening, Alison. Praise report and prayer request. Good evening po. Praise report po is nakapasa po ako sa midterm ko. And um, praise report din po kasi po um, binigyan po tayong lahat ng... Um, and ako po ng wisdom to help at Angeli prepare po sa wedding and everything went successful po na nag-glorify po si Lord. Um, another praise report po is um, spring break ko na po soon. So makakapagpahinga na po ako um, from Akads for one week. Yay. And um, prayer request is finals naman po <laughs> after spring break. And na uh, continuous lang po na maging ano pa ako, consistent sa pagiging focus and sa pag-drive ng pagtapos ng mga assignments ko and everything po. Thank you po. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Alison. Okay, good evening, good evening, uh, Tita Janet. Praise report and prayer request. Gandang gabi po sa, sa inyong lahat. Magandang gabi po sa Panginoon. Uh, nagpapasalamat lang po ako each and every day. Is hindi the blessing. Yung pong protection ni Lord. Yung provision. Yung uh, pag-iingat. Lalo na po sa mga bata. Uh, talagang tunay nga po na napakabuti ng Diyos. Iniingatan po ang bawat isa. So yung aking pong prayer request. Yung pa rin pong kay Janelle. Wherever God will gonna lead her. Kung saan man po yung school, university. Or kung saan po siya lalago upang mm. maranasan po niya ang Panginoon. Lamang po, salamat po. Amen, amen. Ang pinakamalapit sa inyo, uh, Pierce College, uh, if she wants to uh, get the two-year free college, no? uh, yun na tayong pinakamalapit sa inyo. Okay. Oo po. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, university will also be a better option, siyempre. Okay. Oo po. Good evening, good evening. Uh, Sister Mini, meron ka bang praise support and prayer request? Nasa chat. Ah, nasa chat. It's in chat. Okay, basahin natin. Okay, praise God for jobs, uh, uh, for job security pala. Uh, praise God for keeping me safe always. Prayer for all my schedule. Uh, check up for retina, blood glucose, uh, cholesterol, and x-ray on my right thigh and ovaries. And uh, prayer request po, coming from Tita Bing. Uh, safe travel po kay Jairus at uh, Rachel, pati na rin po sa iba pang uwi sa Pilipinas. Praise support po, nakarating na po kami kagabi dito sa Valencia ng safe. At pati rin po sa apo namin si Raisel at Jairel, sobrang nakakatuwa silang magkapatid nung nag-perform sila nung Sunday. Praise the Lord po sa mga talented naming mga apo. Amen, amen. Thank you. Salamat po. 
Okay, good evening, good evening, Pastor Bert. How are you? Praise report and prayer request. Hi. Magandang gabi po. Sorry po, medyo nabala ng konti. May bisita. <laughs> Praise report. Yan, naka, nakapag, napag-drive po kaninang umaga si Sister Elby. Meron mga errands. And thank God na nandito yung mga bata ngayon. Uh, Purihin po ang Panginoon at sa kanyang biyaya, sa kanyang uh, pag-iingat everyday at uh, yung provision niya. Uh, yun lang po siguro at saka pasalamat po rin na uh, for so many months. Months ba or ano? Hindi naman siguro. I was able to, yun nga, nakasama ko po ang ating pastor. Uh, namit namin yung mga ibang pastor sa district. Kasama po ang district superintendent natin. Uh -huh. uh, yun po, maganda po ang uh, uh, pagtanggap. Hoping na magpatuloy sana yung pagkakilala ng ng iglesia sa atin na matunog pa lang mga balibalita. <laughs> Kaya sa Panginoon po ang kapurian. Amen. 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 Yeah, may lumapit pa sa amin at sabi pupunta sa simbahan natin at uh, bagong assigned daw siya sa isang simbahan at gusto niyang maintindihan no, ano yung ating uh, success story. Well, uh, that is a uh, Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Pastor Bird. And, uh, okay, listening mode si Sister LV. Okay, bago tayo pumunta kay Sister Faith para sa anyang praise report and prayer request, eh, ayusin muna natin ang ating uh, tag nito. Uh, ating, uh, what do you call this? Ang ating... Okay, welcome to Simbang Pinoy, the upper Zoom. Tapos na tayo sa praise support and prayer request. And uh, tonight, it's Sister Faith. Next week, Tita Fe, and then uh, Tita Fepot, and then Jairus, Janet, Jazel, Jasmine, and so on and so forth. Okay, before punta tayo kay Sister Faith, uh, <clears throat> tingnan muna natin yung mga praise support natin. No? Tita Fe, 48. Uh, USA, 48th year. Congratulations sa wedding ni Edder and Jelly. Si Giselle nakapasa na. Uh, Tita Bing, okay na yung mamogram. Ito yung mga last week, ano? And then, uh, very nice uh, Sunday celebration. Uh, Tita Josie, vacation. Uh, we money, libre na on Sunday. Certification ni Pastor Bert. Oh, uh, nagkaroon na ako na injection. Nabawasan na yung knee pain. Uh, pumasa na sa ordination uh, and, uh, Sister Jasmine na-interview na for permanent work Pastor, per Ay, excuse me po Pastor, pwede pa pala po muna yung interview ano po muna, evaluation po na evaluation. makapasa po ako sa evaluation Okay, okay, okay. Apa, For evaluation daw po ako eh. Thank okay. you po Thank you, thank you And then we will pray for our This time, active, no, active members. No, last week we pray for inactive members, and then tonight we will uh, pray for the next group ng ating active members. All right. So, and also, uh, okay, for the Church of the Nazarene, uh, we will ask Sister Janet for the Church of the Nazarene. And then, complete healing. Okay, Sister Josie, left eye pain. And then, okay na si Anaya. Magaling na. Tanggalin na natin to. Daya, how about uh, Diana Santiago? Any... Uh, Wait lang po, PJ. Ano na ulit? Mag-pray pa rin po. Okay, stay siya. Stay. And then, si Patty, continuous healing. Uh, and also... Uh, calf okay na ba si Tito Ben uh, sino si Joan Joan uh... Pastor hindi pa okay si Ben 
Okay, okay. Okay. Si Joan po, okay na, Pastor. Okay, ah, si Joan na pa, anong anak ni. Okay, lagay natin si Tito Ben dito. Okay, Ben and May. Good result. Uh, coffee. Okay na po ba yung colonoscopy ni Sister May? Si Hindi pa po, uh, Pastor. Tita lang natin. Tita Berna. Kamusta na si Tita Berna? Mercedes Vitug. And then let's pray for uh, Pastor Greg. No? Uh, Malalahanin natin sa prayer si Pastor <coughs> Greg. Okay. Uh, mananalangin sa complete healing. I see. Sandali lang po ah. Okay, okay, okay. Si Tita Josie. Okay. Okay. So, sa complete healing from cancer, ay ibigay natin kay Chazelle. Okay. And uh, as a special favor, bigay natin kay Aldrin. And then sa events, ibigay natin kay Allison. So, so but tayo dito. Kidoki doki, bear with me. Medyo mahina ang kalaban. Okay. All right, balik natin dito. We have here Sister Janet for the Church of the Nazarene. Okay, complete healing. Sister Sister Josie ang magpipray. Uh, meron pa ba kayong gustong idagdag na complete healing? Baka may nalimutan ako. And then, uh, complete healing from cancer. Si Jazelle ang magpipray for personal supplication. Okay, dito si Adri na magpipray. Special favor and request. So, okay na ba ang job interviews ni CJ? Good evening, CJ. Anong update sa ating uh, job interviews? Uh, ongoing pa din pa. Ongoing pa. Okay, si Lina, strength healing for husband with stroke. Any news uh, or stay ba to? Uh, tanggalin na natin to. Nakatravel na siguro yung nephew ni Tita Josie. Opo, opo. Nakabalik na po ng safe and sound sa Pilipinas. Salamat po sa ating Panginoon. Tanggalin na rin natin yung midterms ni Giselle. And then, uh, Tyron's floorball. Anong update dito? Uh, new work opportunity for Dave. Uh, and then Wedge. And uh, uh, Anaya, CBC. Results. Ah, uh, Pastor, ano, pakitagal po muna. Kasi sa ngayon, hindi daw muna siya pwedeng pa. Ganun dahil yung ano, may ubo pa po. Kailangan po niya mag-recover muna. Na to. Tapos... Sorry. Sa akin po, Pastor, yung last, yung forgiveness of student, praise the Lord po, ano po, um, 60% na forgive na po. Oh? Okay. Yes, praise the Lord Apo, po. Apo, ng student loans ko. So, 40% na lang po natitira. Thank you po. Ang laki. Thank you sa prayer. Apo, praise the Lord po. Oh, wow. Ang laki nun, ha? 60%. Apo. Apo. Uh, so, apat na taon yun, yung 60% na cost? Apo, for your course. Wow, malaki yun ha. So, malaking pera yun. Uh, what else uh, we have here? Uh, behind the wheel, Janelle and Ava College application. Okay, tanggalin na natin dito. Sina Eder and Jelly sa wedding. Officially, Mr. and Mrs. na. Ayan. Panalangin na lang natin sila Dennis, Mao, Shane, and Almira. Eh, balita ko, si Dennis at si Mao sa August na yan, no? So, panalangin tayo. So, and then, uh, green card for Joshua. And uh, what else? Cataract surgery, bet sa hagun? Tapos na ba? Or hindi pa? Hindi pa po. Okay, traveling mercy, John Marco, the cruises, mangubat, sempros. Meron pa bang lilipad na gusto nating idagdag? Okay, doggy. So, meron pa ba tayong idadagdag na special favor and request? Okay. 
So, okay, 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 okay. Okay. And then for our events, mula tenebre and so on and so forth. Okay. Balikan natin ang uh, may mga bagong pasok. Good evening, CJ. Meron ka bang prayer request and praise report? Good evening po. Pasensya na po sa bago. Sa salita. Ah. Uh, praise report po. I thank God for ayun pa rin po His continuous blessings and provisions po sa buhay natin. Uh, prayer request po. Uh, patuloy pa rin po na ipag-pray po lahat ng mga may sakit pa na yan. Ayun na pa. Thank you pa. Thank you CJ. Good evening James. Uh, any praise report or prayer request? Uh, good evening, good evening po. Ah, uh, request ah uh, siguro uh, sa health natin ganun. Happy birthday pala sa iyo, James. Thank you po. <laughs> Thank you po. Ayun, ayun. So, let's go now to Tita Faith. Oh, Tita Faith po na baka meron prayer support and prayer request. Good evening po sa lahat. Ah, uh, support, I thank God na approve yung pagkapatuloy ng therapy ko sa carpal tunnel. So, kasi na-stop yun noong December. Five therapies lang inabot ko ngayon, na-resume. So, by next week, mag-start uli ako ng therapy. And prayer request, and uh, uh, protection pa rin kila David at Hazel sa araw-araw na pag-uwi nila sa gabi. At uh, kanina umaga daw, nagkasunog na naman sa likod namin. So, I always pray na uh, maging safe ang environment namin. And thank you then Prayer request yung healing nga ng carpal tunnel. Heal lang po. Thank you. Okay. Uh, sulat ko lang dito po. Ano? Ano? Carpal. Ano bang spill? Space spilling? Carpal. Carpal. Kar karpal ba? Karpal. Karpal. Oh, karpal. 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 Okay. Okay. Nalito ko kasi na na, 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 na twist. Ano yun? Brain twisting. Okay. Good evening. Good evening. Sister Faith. Uh, pray support and pray request. Mm, ano po? Praise report. Ko po. Ayun po, successful po yung wedding ni Jelly at ni Eder. Tapos, uh, nakapag-set na rin po ako ng mga doctor's appointment ko for sa primary doctor at sa dentist. Uh -huh. Tapos, uh, kanina po, <laughs> kabadong-kabado po ko, nag-submit na po ako ng RFE, uh -huh. USCIS, 527 pages po. Ano nga, haba Uh, ba, ang dami po kasi nilang hinihingi. So kaya sobrang kinakabahan po ako kasi nag-compare notes po kami ng mga classmates ko. Ako po yung pinakamadaming hinihingi among hmm. mga kakalala ko pong nag-apply. So ano, tas medyo spe may, may konti pa akong special case. So kaya kailangan po talaga ng prayers. So yun din po yung prayer request ko na na mapunta po yung case ko sa sa taong may compassion kanya <laughs> favor uh, kasi hindi hindi ko na po kontrolado eh para I, I i placed everything that i could put there as evidence pero at the end of the day it's really god's will and uh, so yun lang po uh, ma-approve po yung extension ko po dito ayan so <clears throat> uh, punta na po tayo dun sa page share ko po Tonight. So, yung verse po na akin pong napili, ayan, Psalms 34, verses 4 to 6. So, bago ko po basahin, mag-pray po muna tayo. Uh, Lord, maraming salamat po sa gabing ito. Uh, we thank you for your presence in our midst. Uh, we thank you for every person, every family represented God in this uh, a Zoom meeting, Lord, and we ask for your 
we ask for your uh, wisdom lord for for your uh give us clarity god give us understanding god as we as we study your word may this bring encouragement uh, to each and every one of us you know alam mo panginoon yung pinagdadaanan ng bawat isa na naririto lord and we pray na kayo po panginoon ang tumugon sa anumang pangangailangan kayo po ang magbigay lord ng kalakasan sa mga nanghihina lord and kayo din po panginoon ang uh, mag-provide ng blessings god so maraming salamat po sa sa gabing ito we love you lord in jesus name we pray amen Amen. So yung verse po na napili ko is Psalms 34 verses 4 to 6. So I'll be reading from the New International Version. Sabi po dito. So si King David po ang nagsulat nitong uh, psalm na ito. Sabi niya, I sought the Lord and He answered me. He delivered me from all my fears. And then verse 5, those who look to Him are radiant. Their faces are never covered with shame. This poor man, so he was referring to himself, this poor man called and the Lord heard him. He saved him out of all his trouble. So yung konteksto po kasi nitong verse na to, ito po yung time na si David, he was being pursued by Abimelech. So uh, ito po yung nasulat niya po to after he was, He was able to miraculously, nakatakas po siya miraculously from a near-death experience at the hands of Abimelech. So, para ang tan ang tan ang naisip ko po kasi to, can you can you remember that the last time or can you remember a moment in your life that you were so afraid? Like, for example, Uh, uncertainties or your fear of failing your fear you're fearful of making a wrong decision or you're fearful of uh, the consequences of uh, anong nangya anong, anong isang decision na ginawa or uncertainty or the future o kaya naman uh, you're troubled with kumbaga an, anong mangyayari sa future ng anak nyo or you're troubled with a sickness in the family, you're troubled with the direction of a relationship or conflict. Di ba lahat po tayo parang common po sa atin yun eh na pinagdadaanan po natin yun. And ako po very close sa akin to kasi ito yung, ito yung mga dinideclare kong verses the past few days kasi nga parang this past few weeks parang very uh, ano, roller coaster yung mga nangyayari sa, sa, sa buhay ko ngayon. And three things po na gusto ko lang para i-highlight from this verse, three things po na ginawa ni King David. Sabi dito, first, he sought God. So, three things that we can take away from this is first, seek God. Sabi niya kasi, I sought the Lord and He answered me. So, clearly sabi po dito, when we seek God, God answers us. And not just that, He delivers us from all our fears. So, kumbaga, it highlights the importance of seeking God and we seek God through reading the bible we seek god through attending services uh, getting godly counsel listening to the holy spirit spending time with the lord as yung pangalawa pong ginawa niya when when he was troubled is that he looked to god sabi po sa verse 5 those who look to him are radiant radiant po dito means happy glowing diba parang ang hirap na parang you're going through a near-death experience, and yet you're still happy. But si King David, sabi niya dito, when we look to God, meaning when we put our trust and when we have confidence in God's faithfulness, in His power, His ability, we can become radiant and shame-free. Sabi niya, their faces are never covered with shame. So we are shame-free. And then, so, seeking seek God, look to God. And yung third na sinabi po, this poor man called. So, third is call upon the Lord. So, sabi ito, when we call upon the Lord, the Lord hears us and saves us out of all His troubles. Diba sometimes yung parang pag, when, when we're overwhelmed with so much, ang mga nangyayari lang sa buhay, sometimes, yung minsan ngayon, pray na natin, Lord help. Pero kahit, Ganon yung prayer natin. God still hears us and He comes He comes to rescue us. So, 
Ah, uh, yun lang po yung three things na in when kasi parang I, I, I mean, kung wala man po tayo pinagdadaanan ngayon, sab pinramis naman ni Lord yun eh, sabi niya in this world we will have trouble. So parang even as Christians, we can expect to go through troubles and trials. Pero sabi nga ni Lord, take heart, I have overcome the world. So while we are there, uh, waiting for God's deliverance, we can do these three things. We can seek God, we can look to Him, and we can call upon Him. So yun lang po. So yung question ko po, uh, for us, right short lang po, how has God delivered you from troubles or fear? So you may share a past or a current experience po na pinagdadaanan nyo ngayon. So, how has God delivered you from troubles or fears? Ako po, sige, ako na uno po yung sasagot kasi ako po yung nagtanong. Ay, ka, kunyari ito mga nakaraang araw po. Like, when whenever I fear, kasi minsan nagigising ako na madaling araw, minsan tulala na nito. <laughs> Dami kasing thoughts na tumatapos sa isip ko. So, parang sa akin, sobrang nakakatulong sa akin yung when the Holy Spirit reminds me of God's word. So dito ko po talaga nakita yung value of memorizing scripture and storing Bible verses in our hearts. Kasi pag, when when we when I go through yung mga ganyan na mabibigat, yung high stress moments sa life ko, may mga verses talagang ipapaalala yung Holy Spirit. Eh. So sa akin, the Lord, kasi wala pa naman pong result yung situation ko. So I'm still going through it. So every time may dumab- bumabalik yung mga fearful moments, the Holy Spirit just reminds me of God's word, His promises, His faithfulness, how God has delivered me in the past. So sa akin po, yun po basically yung way ni Lord of delivering me from fears by reminding me of His word and His promises. So yun po. Amen. Salamat, Sister Faith. Okay, good evening, good evening, uh, Sister Josie. Okay po ang first to answer ang ating uh, ang ating question for discussion sa gabi na to. And if you are in a listening mode, uh, please write your uh, answer sa question natin for tonight. And I for you. Right. Sa akin naman po, uh, uh, sa amin pong pamilya talagang Naging tapat po ang ating Panginoon. Madalas kong ang kinukwento yung nangyari sa amin. Uh, talaga pong napaka-faithful ng ating Panginoon. Sabi nga, kung may ipagmamalaki tayo, ang ipagmalaki natin, yung ginawa sa atin ng ating Panginoon. Yung mga kabutihan yung ginawa sa atin ng ating Panginoon. Yung ipagmalaki natin dahil sabi nga po sa Deuteronomy, Uh, pakatandaan natin na ang ating Diyos ay hindi marunong sumira sa kanyang mga pangako. Kapag sinabi niya, sigurado yung gagawin niya. At kapag nangako siya, tutupa rin niya ito. Maging tapat lang tayo sa ating Panginoon at uh, siguradong lahat ng ating mga uh, gustong mangyari sa ating buhay ay ipagkakaloob ng ating Panginoon. Siya yung Diyos na mabuti sa lahat. Hindi niya tayo iiwan, hindi niya tayo pababaya. Ano mang sitwasyon yung buhay natin? Ano mang sitwasyon sa ating buhay? Yun lang po. Thank you, Tita Josie. Okay. Next would be uh, the Anastasios. Good evening, Anastasios. Aldrin and Jasmine. Sa akin pa, Pastor, ano, yung, na, yung naging fear ko yung seven years ago. Nandito na ako na hindi ko alam kung magkakatrabaho pa ba ako o kung anong mangyayari sa buhay ko dito sa Amerika. Kasi hindi ako nag-aral dito. Tapos hindi naman din ganun. Hindi naman ako ganun katalil. <laughs> ako ganun. Tapos... Parang ano niyo nung nung ano po nung napunta kami din sa La na tinulungan nga po ako nila Sister LB. Yun na yung nag-start na nagano. Kaya totoo sinabi ni Sister Josie na basta faithful tayo kay Lord. Si Lord talaga ang nag sa atin. Talagang gagabay niya tayo at talagang tuloy-tuloy po. Yun po sa akin. Thank you po. Mm-hmm. Just... 
<clears throat> you just don't know, uh, Jasmine, you are uh, 10 times better than you think. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Yes, Aldrin, may dadagdag ka ba? Apo, um, sa akin po, biggest fear, fearful experience ko po yung um, when I got hit and run. Kasi mm. po, ano po eh, ay, akala ko po talaga putulin na po yung kamay ko nun eh. Kasi po eh, hindi ko po magalaw eh. So I was really fearful kung puputulin siya and then paano na po yung future ko, paano po magkatrabaho or do the simple tasks. Pero I just trusted in God. And um, you po, through prayer, um, with uh, my mom's helpful um, pag-aalaga, yung care niya, my wife's support. Um, God was really faithful kasi I really wanted to go back to ministry. I was always praying to God na I wanted to go back to ministry and play the guitar again, worship with for, for Him, lead worship for Him, play basketball again. And God was faithful, ano po, um, ginamit po niya yung doctor, the, the surgery was successful, so I praise the Lord for that po talaga. Amen. Thank you, thank you. And uh, from Anjali, God has delivered me from my fear when Edder was first diagnosed with cancer. We had no idea what was in store for us at that time. We both weren't close to God as much as we are now, but I still had faith that everything will be okay. I just knew and believed for some reason that he will be okay. And praise the Lord, Edder is okay cancer-wise. He is faithful if we just trust in him. Amen. From Aileen, uh, from a past experience, God was so good in my life when my first marriage at a young age didn't work out. I was so able to get out of an imminent verbal and almost physical abusive relationship early on. It was a very scary time in my life because I was so dependent on my ex-husband. Naakala ko po my life was over because my marriage was over. I didn't know how I would move forward as a single mom, but God is good because I have a very loving and supportive family who took me and Elisha back to their place and allowed us to stay with them. I would question God why he allowed such horrible and painful experience to happen to me. But later on, it made sense. Uh, but later on, it all made sense. It was because he had a better plan and a better person for my life. Ay, eight months, eight years na sila. <laughs> Congratulations. And uh, from Justine, before the only thing I really feared was death. But God delivered me from that because of the work of His Son on the cross. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. I have assurance of eternity with Him because He has redeemed and is redeeming me. Amen. Thank you. So from PQ, I agree with Ati Faith. Memorizing verses is a powerful weapon. It is the sword uh, in the armor of God. For me, po, I've been very busy with school and there's been a lot of high-stake events happening, so it's making me anxious kasi po parang there's not enough time in a day. Pero I'm leaning in the Lord. Cast all your anxiety to Him because He cares for you. First Peter 5.7 I know God gives us rest. Okay, amen. Okay, this uh, from faith. Uh, this first serves as an assurance of God's deliverance from fear because fear can rob us of joy and peace. But when we entrust our worries and anxieties to the Lord, we can face fear with confidence. Yung pagdating ko dito from Pinas, I was attacked by fear dahil sa nagtayo ng restaurant sa tabi ng bahay namin sa Pinas. So what I did was to keep on listening to preachings in the morning about how to overcome fear. Ah, oh, this guy from Tita Pepper. All right. Amen. Sabi ni Angeli, yes, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Philippians 4.13. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you for all those uh, love notes. Good evening, good evening, Giselle. Your turn to answer the question. Um, for me po in difficult situations, lalo na po sa pag-aaral ko po, um, the Lord always give me a way to escape, which is through our... um mga ganaps po sa church, ganun. So, parang sinasabi niyo po na, ayan, anak, maging busy ka sa pag-serve sa akin, makipag-fellowship ka with your brothers and sisters, which is a 
huge help po sa akin para di po ako madala ng stress. And for me po, I recently see and feel po na God um, always inspire yung the people around me to reach out to me na pinapadala niya po ako ng pinapadala niya po ako and sinusurroundan niya po ako ng mga tao na um, willing to pray for me and give me godly advices. So, yun po. So, if we just really um, just trust in Him and wholeheartedly surrender everything to Him, yun po. He can just meet our needs with miracles and just uh, make ways na designed talaga specifically for us through His miraculous power. And yun lang po. Amen. Thank you, Giselle. Tita Fe Dumuk, good evening po. Your turn. Um, uh, one, one of the uh, experiences that I had with fear was during the time when we had COVID-19. I was so fearful that anybody could die, you know, from covid so I prayed hard for everybody, for my family, friends, and and brothers and sisters in the Lord. But all the while, you know, while COVID-19 was in its height to destroy people, you know, I had that fear. But at the same time, I trusted the Lord through his word. And I, I, I don't forget the scripture that was, that really uh, developed to my my confidence, a hundred percent confidence in the Lord and trust in him that he will take care of everybody was the 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 his word. I I, I can I don't remember right now the reference, but uh it is a passage wherein the Lord has said that if we make him the Lord in our lives, uh when we pray to him, when we call him in prayer that he will answer our prayers and that uh, uh, he will be with us in trouble. That passage strengthened me and increased my faith because I, I observed that God had really uh, saved people the, who put their trust in him. I thank the Lord because COVID-19, <laughs> we are familiar to that now, and most people know how to how to prevent being sick of it. Praise the Lord. That's it, Pastor. Amen. Thank you, Tita Fe. Good evening, Alison May. Hello po. Um, good evening po ulit. So, while listening po, actually po nabasa po namin ni Dad yung verse na sinan po ni Ate Faith and na-realize po namin na it is connected sa song na will be led po on Friday which is trust in God yun nga po like it says it says there I sought the Lord and he heard and he answered and actually po I was just scrolling through and then bigla ko pong nasang, na, narinig yung song na to. And it really touched my heart because it's saying to, it's telling me to seek God. And once you seek God, you know, He listens through your prayer. He listens of how you talk to Him, how you speak to Him. And from that, He will answer. And... Siguro ang ano ko lang po dun is yung I have a fear of like I don't know hindi ko pa po alam kung ano yung leading sa akin ni God like what he wants me to do but I feel like there is something that he wants me to do and I've been praying about it and I'm really thankful kasi during the times that I talk to him, there are signs of him speaking to him through my heart. And uh, I can feel that through the experiences that I've been going through, he's moving through those things to set my path of where he wants to lead me. And I'm really thankful because he brought me to 
he brought me back to church. Um, he allowed me, he enabled me to be in the ministry. Sa Bapuri, where he gave me the realization of how to worship him. Audience of one. Na. To have the heart while singing the words, singing the song, using that as a praise and worship to him, even in front of the people. And Nahindi, you're not singing for the people, but for him. And while you're singing in front of the congregation, it's just, you're just an instrument that God is using you to usher the people to focus on him. And then he brought me to kids ministry. Nah. Currently, I keep the whole of where he's leading me sa career then, which is child development. And that's like one of the ways that I keep of how he's moving in my life. Na make correlation of how I serve him. Kung paano ko siya masaserve. Na nadadawit din yung career path ko. And so, ushering, I help every now and then. And I think God has delivered me from being self-reliant, being selfish of kung gusto ko. And it troubled me so much kasi currently parang I have my own plans. I want to do this. I want to set things and plan like Maybe after finishing college, you know, like buying a house and then giving my family a good life. But then slowly, by slowly, he's knocking into my heart. And he just wants to make me seek him. Not to seek my plans, but to seek for his plans. Para sa akin ko, ano yung gusto niya na mangyari. And, you know, like, those are the troubles that I'm having right now. <laughs> Pero he's, he's been helping me overcome it by allowing him to worship him truly from the heart na hindi mayihiya. Just like how David danced, um, na wala siyang pakialam. I, I want that kind of heart. Um, yun lang po yung akin. Sorry po. Naging emotional po ako. Amen. It's okay. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Alison. Good evening, Tita Bing. Sabi ni Tita Bing dito, uh, take away, mas pinipili ko po yung faith ko kay Lord kesa sa mga pag-aala. Hindi ko inayaan na mawala yung tiwala ko sa Kanya dahil sa mga pagsubok o problema sa buhay. Maraming salamat, Tita Bing. Good evening, Tita Janet. Mm, sa akin naman po, worry comes, we are not exempted from worry, but then the antagonist ng worry is faith. So when the time comes sa may mga worries, I just go to the the Lord in prayer, in worship, and uh, communicate with Him. Salamat po. Salamat po. Salamat Amen. Salamat po. Good evening, Pastor Bert. <clears throat> It's your turn, Pastor Bert. Sorry po. Hey, good evening. Hmm? Uh, yung question ay, eh, how has God delivered you from trouble? So marami. <laughs> or fears. You may share a past or present. Past or present. Guru po, from the Philippines to America, to Europe, to Africa. <laughs> marami po akong nadaanan ng mga trouble. And Fear later on, uh, I was not, I'm not aware of fear, but after na nangyari na, doon ako, <laughs> doon ako mag-iisip na magkakaroon ng fear nun. But while you are still holding on, no, your faith and trusting God, I believe all the troubles and fears that you experience, God is always with you. But it's natural that you will experience fear 
and even in troubles. Maraming beses tagin po in the ministry, in my life, yung, yung sabi, si, I don't know kung siya yung nagsabing near to death or near death experience. Marami pong beses. Pero, yun nga, kahit saan ako mapunta, either sa mga pulo, kahit na gabi, naglalakad ka, or umuulan, or whatever in situation, minsan hindi mo na iniisip yun as long you are with the Lord. Siguro, the same thing in, the, in life, Uh, kahit na dumadang ka sa mga masalimot o hindi mo maintindihan sa so at present yung mga dinadaanan mo as if there is fear o kaba sa mga sa mga sa puso mo but I believe the Lord is there for me at present siguro yung fear ko yung when I don't feel anymore yung o yung not really feel yung yung kinakatakutan ko yung yung baga na yung mapalayo ako na hindi ko nalalaman na even though I'm so busy with the Lord and yet lumalayo na pala yung puso niya sa akin o yung puso ko sa kanya. Yun ang kinakatakutan ko na without knowing na ikaw ay malayo na pala sa Panginoon. Yun ang uh, malaking fear ko o kinakatakot ko na mawala sa kanya yung presensya o sa piling ng Panginoon na yung intimate relationship sa kanya. Yun ang pinaka-fear ko siguro na ayaw ko na I want always to be as much possible ever intimate relationship with God, that intimacy. Kaya pag nandun na ako, I try to encourage myself. Either I will sing, I will read the word, or I will get the instrument. Minsan yung ukulele, then i will uh, i will sing unto the lord kahit na na hindi ko alam minsan yung mga mga wording pero mostly yung inaawit ko yung ano yung within the veil within the veil uh, there's beauty the holiness of the lord within the veil i hope na yung mga iba alam nila yung kantang yun na uh, every time uh, Fear or trouble comes, yun ang inawit ko na. Because in, within the veil, where you can meet the the presence of God in the Holy of Holies, I wanted to stay there. Parang yung kay David sabi nga niya na ayaw niyong lumayo sa Panginoon. Sabi niya, nag, nagtatampo pa nga siya or na he is so jealous. Sabi niya, kahit na yung mga, ano ba yun, yung mga sibad ba yun or... or Swal, uh, swal, uh, yun? yung mga ibon na nasa falas eh, na they're more nearer to the Lord kasi nandun sila eh, siya nasa labas so I want yun ang ano ko sa buhay bilang krisyano hope na ito yung mga encourage uh, sa lahat sa atin na fears and troubles in this life are natural pero yung katako, katakot natin yung tayo ay mapahiwalay sa Panginoon. Siguro yun ang fear ko, na ayaw ko. So yun lang po. Thank you so much. Maraming salamat, Pastor Robert. Good evening, Kuya Manny. Hello po. Good evening. <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, how has God delivered you from troubles or fears siguro po yung matatandaan ko po yung when i was still in the early 20s na yung fear of raising a family yun po unang-unang fear ko po sa buhay ko noon na kaya late po ako nakapag-asawa at the age of 30 kasi kailangan mo nang inestablish ko muna yung ano tawag ito yung career kaya nang stable job ako Meron po akong sakyan, mga ganun. Tapos meron sariling ipon na magpag-start o magpagawa ng bahay. So parang yung trust ko sa Panginoon noon, though I'm a Christian before, uh, I was uh, Christian ako that time, pero yun bang, hindi ako nagtiwala kay Lord. Kaya um, ganun po, uh, nag, hindi pala maganda na late na mag-asawa. <laughs> Sana natagdagan pa yung mga anak ko kasi... Pag andun ka pala sa Panginoon naman, madali lang noon pala mag, 
grace ng family eh. Uh, madali lang dapat nadagdagan pa sana yung tatlo ko. Pero uh, yun naman ang will ng Lord. Kaya ganun po siya. So na-overcome ko yung fear na yun. Madali lang pala mag-grace ng family. Dapat mas maga po ako nag-asawa. Kung hindi lang ako niyaya ng asawa ko nun eh. <laughs> yun po. <laughs> Po. <laughs> Kuya Manny, ha? baka mag-gender reveal ka sa ano. <laughs> sa ano yun, sa camp. Kasi <laughs> pa pala ni Kuya Manny. Yeah. Ay, hindi na. Apo na lang antayin ko po, Pastor. <laughs> yeah, apo na lang apo. Okay. Apo. All right, thank you, thank you. And um, ako, share ko lang ano sa question na to. Uh, how has God delivered you from troubles or fears? No, uh, naalala ko lang kasi nung dumating kami dito, 2009, and then hanggang 2011, ang visa ko ay um, J2. And then from J2, 2011, hanggang 2013, na-approved ako, ang naging visa ko ay R1. And then 2013, then karoon ako ng problema. Uh, paulit-ulit, pabalik-balik ako sa lawyer, wala naman akong ginagawa mali, and so on and so forth. After 10 years, 2023, uh, siguro kung kukwentahin ko yung uh, ginasus kong pera sa lawyer, baka nakabili ko ng bagong kotse. No? So, kung lahat ng troubles and fears inabot ko, nandyan yung uh, na, na munti ka na akong lumagpas sa San Diego, Andiyan yung puntika na ako lumagpas sa Arizona. Andiyan yung uh, paparahin ka ng polis, may tatanong lang pala sa iyo. So lahat ng troubles and fears talaga inaabot ko because of uh yung naging ano ko, uh, situation ko. Naranasan ko rin sa loob ng 10 taon na, twen- na 2013 to 2023. Naranasan ko rin na uh, Uh, naging mukha kong kapaki-pakinabang, madaming lumapit sa akin, madaming uh, gumamit sa akin, uh, mabango yung pangalan ko, madaming uh, gustong kumapit sa pangalan ko at uh, naranasan ko na uh, kumbaga napaka-special kong tao. Pero nung nawala yung aking uh, legal status, eh, wala akong makita sa tabi ko. <laughs> No. Well, bukod kay Pastor Bert. <laughs> Hindi ako iniwan yan eh. Tapos uh, sa loob din ng sampung taon na 2013 to 2023, eh, binuno ko yung uh, Bible College dahil requirement sa ordination. Looking back, na-realize ko lang nung tinatanong tong question na to. Kumbaga, how God has delivered me no from all those troubles and fears nung last September, nakuha ko yung green card ko. And then, last week, na-approved ako for nomination for ordination. And, um, mabaga looking back, ano, eh, nakita ko yung gano kabuti yung Diyos. Nalagaan niya ako. At, uh, na-vindicate ako. No? Andiyan yung napagbintangan ako na, ano yun, nag, nag-backslide. Andiyan yung nasiraan yung pangalan ko. Pero lahat yun, vindicate ng Lord. No? Kumbaga, in-restore niya yung dignity sa akin. Um, in, 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 in install ako ni Greg Garman and then and then we experience no lahat tayo if not we are we are one of the most successful Filipino ministries here in the US and uh, kumbaga sa akin napakalaking vindication na ginawa ng Panginoon nilinis na talaga yung pangalan ko dahil may mga taong hindi mabubuti ang uh, pag-iisip at uh, dinudungisan ng pilit yung pangalan mo at uh, na-experience ko rin na uh, may mga tao na hindi ka gustong patapusin sa pag-aaral o hindi ka gustong ma-ordain pero lahat yun naging troubles and fears pero kinonvert ng Panginoon din i-labor niya ako uh, I hope na uh, maging uh, inspirasyon sa lahat yung mga pinagdaanan ko na mahirap pero uh, sa dulo eh sasagipin at sasagipin tayo ng Panginoon. Lagi siyang nandyan. no Kaya nga tama talaga si James, consider it pure joy, my brethren. Ano? Kapag ka dumadaan ka sa mga hindi magandang pagkakataon sa buhay mo, kumbaga hinuhubog ka sa iyong pananampalataya, sa iyong faith, sa iyong perseverance and everything. So, 
dadaling ka ng Panginoon sa ibang level, no? higher level, kung saan gagamitin ka niya. At uh, paglingon mo, makikita mo kung gaano siya ka-powerful. Kasi mahirap, mahirap purihin ng Panginoon kapag hindi mo nadanasan na pulutin ka niya sa wala. So, pag hindi mo nadanasan, ay pakita niya yung power niya sa buhay mo. So, sa gabi na ito, sana uh, lahat tayo ma ma mapaalalahanan na kahit kailan, hindi tayo iniiwan ng Panginoon. Uh, sa mga pagkakataon na malungkot tayo at sa mga pagkakataon na parang wala na, wala, nang, na, wala na tayong tao sa tabi natin or parang uh, lahat na ng uh, bagay ginawa mo na pero parang kulang pa rin. No, uh, tandaan natin, ang Panginoon ay hindi nagkukulang. No? Ang kanyang pagmamahal at ang kanyang pananampalataya ay laging sapat. Yun lang. <laughs> okay, tayo po ay uh, manalangin. No? Umpisaan po. Uh, umpisaan ko po ang ating uh, panalangin sa gabi na to. Hallelujah. Uh, Panginoon Diyos, ang manamin sa langit. Uh, dakila ka sa buhay namin. Nagpapasalamat po kami sa lahat ng mga pagkakataon na kami sinagip nyo, dineliver ninyo sa lahat ng troubles and pains and sufferings and fears. Uh, lagi kayo nandyan at uh, pinamalas nyo ang kapangyarihan nyo sa buhay namin, Panginoon. At uh, sa gabi na ito ay uh, umingi kami ng kapatawaran sa aming mga pagkakamali, pagdududa or uh, pag, uh, pag uh, hindi uh, pagtugon sa uh, o hindi uh, uh, paniniwala sa mga pangako ninyo or naiinip kami or kumbaga uh, nalilito kami uh, patawarin niyo po kami kung nagkukulang kami sa pananampalataya sa inyo uh, bagkus kayo po big, bigyan niyo po kami Panginoon ng uh, marami pang pananampalataya sa puso namin magtiwala na wa kami sa inyo turuan niyo po kami Panginoon Uh, sa gabi na ito, dinadalangin namin, Panginoon, ang mga susunod na nadalangin namin, Panginoon. Uh, dalangin namin, Panginoon. Nagpapasalamat kami, Panginoon, sa sa song number nila, Rizal at Jairel, nung uh, linggo, Panginoon. At uh, talagang nakakatawa, Panginoon, ang kanilang uh, uh, mga improvements, Panginoon. At at the same time, advanced reader pa sila, Panginoon. At saka may award sila sa math, Panginoon. We pray for traveling mercy, Panginoon, sa pag nila Jairus at saka nila Rachel, Panginoon. We also uh, we just want to praise you, Lord God, sa katatapos lamang na wedding nila Angelie at saka ni Edder na kung saan, Panginoon, talagang pinamalas niyo na kayo ay tapat sa buhay nila at kayo po ang provide sa lahat ng mga pangangailangan nila, Panginoon. We pray for Idrik. Uh, na gumaling siya, Panginoon, sa kanyang cold and uh, we pray for uh, this protection, Panginoon, sa kanyang school, Panginoon and uh, uh, yung health, Panginoon, yung work ni Edder at saka yung health niya, Panginoon pero Panginoon na magbalot ng inyong protection at pagpapala, Panginoon Lord God, we pray, Lord God, for uh, uh, John Marco, Panginoon na nagpapasalamat kami na pasan niya na yung kanyang final exam at uh, finishing na lang yung kanyang last assignments para sa term nito. We pray, Panginoon, na uh, ingatan niyo rin po siya sa paglipad, Panginoon, sa Pilipinas. Maging uh, blessing po sila doon, mag-enjoy sila at maging kapahingahan din po yun para sa kanila. We are praying also, nagpapasalamat kami sa walong taon ng pagmamahala nila Daniel at ni Aileen. Lord, we pray also kay Daniel na meron siyang upcoming glaucoma test sa April 5. Nalangin na yung Panginoon na uh, Everything will be okay, maging normal po lahat. Uh, matanggal po yung pamumula ng kanyang mata, Panginoon. Uh, we pray also, Lord God, sa midterm uh, this coming Friday, Panginoon, ni PQ at sa kanyang seminar paper at yung kanyang uh, summer job, illegal summer job, Panginoon. Uh, dalangin namin na sana sa preferably immigration siya mapunta, Panginoon. And uh, Lord, we also pray for Uh, si Sir Mini sa kanyang uh, check-up for her retina, uh, blood glucose and cholesterol and x-ray sa kanyang right thigh and ovaries. We also pray, Lord God, yung pain na naramdaman niya, Panginoon, on her uh, right side ng kanyang body, Panginoon. We pray na mawala ito uh, in Jesus' name, Panginoon. 
Uh, we also pray, Lord God, for her sister being and her family, Lord, as she as they stay sa Valencia, Panginoon. Uh, you always protect them and, uh, and uh, always take care of the kids, Lord God. And also, Lord God, we pray for Tita Pepot sa kanyang uh, carpal, carpal tunnel, 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 Panginoon, carpal tunnel. We pray, Lord God, for complete healing sa kanyang carpal tunnel, Lord God. Lord God, we pray for... Uh, Itabing, Grace uh, Angeles, uh, we pray for Sister uh, Jacelle, Josie, Brother Noel, Ascaraga. We also pray for the Bensions, Jaya and Derek. We remember in prayer uh, Lenlen, Bermudo, and the Bugayongs, John, Mavi, Maya, and uh, Teo. Lord, we pray uh, all these names, Lord God, na uh, patuloy niyo po silang palagayin sa aming uh, simbahan, Panginoon, na may gawin niyo silang kagamit-gamit. Gamitin uh, mo silang uh, channel of blessings, Panginoon, at uh, uh, dalangin namin, Panginoon, ng proteksyon, pagpapala sa kanilang uh, pamilya, Panginoon. Let's pray for the Church of the Nazarene. Uh, Sister Janet, kindly lead us. Thank you. Um, yes, Lord Father, we just come to you tonight, lifting up to you, Lord God. Uh, itong mga list, Panginoon, for uh, the Church of the Nazarene. Father God, we just lift up to you um, our GS. We pray and uh, lift up to you, everyone. Oh God, for Busik, for Croker, for uh, um, Sandberg, for Daniels, for Sarmiento, we pray for our DS, for the district superintendent, for our pastor Mark Lemon, for district uh, office staff, we pray for Shea Person, Jeff Cow, and even for our local church board, we pray for pastor, for Pastor Jeff, Pastor Bong, Sister Gurley, for Sister Rachel and Tita LV, we pray for the Lavalness pastoral staff, we pray for PJ, for PN, for PB, for PR, Pastor Raven, Pastor uh, PQ, we pray for the English, for Josue, uh, uh, for Pastor Josue, and uh, God, we, we, we come to you tonight and lifting this up to you, Lord. But Lord, you know all these things, oh God. We pray for these people whom you have given, Lord, the task. We lift them up to you, Lord, right now that you will give them, Lord, the strength that they need. We pray for the English, for the North Korean and South Korean, and for the MCB. Kayo po ang patuloy, oh, just magbigay ng katalinuhan ng ano yung din sa mga taong pinili. Magpunyo, oh God, to give them the strength. Continue, oh God, to fill them, Lord, with your love, with your joy. And Lord, may you just continue to encourage them during moments and uh, difficulties and challenges, oh God, in the ministry. Lord, we lift them up to you, that you will continue to uphold them, oh God, with your righteous right hand. Continue to uh, be with them, Lord. Samahan mo sila, Panginoon, sa lahat ng mga plano, sa lahat ng mga gagawin. Lord, pagpalain mo anang anang sa ministeryo na ipinagkatiwala mo sa kanila. Continue, O oh God, to bless your people, to bless your church, and uh, to bless the ministry that you have entrusted to them. Father, we thank you for all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Maraming po salamat for complete healing, provisions, comfort, peace, and other concerns. <clears throat> Sister Josie, kindly lead us. Thank you. Hallelujah, patuloy po kami uh, uh, sa diwa ng panalangin, Lord. Uh, dadalangin po namin ang aming mga kapatid dito, Lord. Uh, Daniel has upcoming glaucoma test on April 5. Praying po na everything will come out normal. Lagi pong namumulay yung kanyang mata. Uh, dalangin ko po, Panginoon. Uh, ito po, Panginoon, ang nakaalam kung ano pong... Uh, causes ng irritation sa kanyang mata, Lord. Dalangin po namin, Panginoon, na uh, ikaw po ang Diyos na our great healer, Lord. Bigyan mo po ng kagaling yun ng mata niya, Lord. Mata ni Daniel, Lord. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Lord, ganun din po kay Pastor Cled, midterm this Friday, seminar, paper, and legal, summer jobs. Uh, Lord, dalangin, uh, ganun din po yung sa immigration po niya, Lord. Dalangin po 
po po, Panginoon Lord, na lahat po ng kahilingan ng aming Pastor Ekled ay ipagkaloob po po sa Kanya, Panginoon. At alam ko po, Panginoon, na uh, hindi pa po namin sinasabi, Panginoon. Alam na po, Panginoon, ang aming kahilingan dahil Ikaw yung all-knowing God, Lord. At alam po namin, Panginoon, na ito po ipagkakaloob mo sa Kanya, Panginoon. At magiging maayos po ang lahat, Panginoon. Ganun din po, bibigyan mo rin po siya ng trabaho, Panginoon. At uh, para po, ito po ay magamit niya sa kanyang pag-aaral, Lord. Ngayon pa lamang po, pinasasalamatan na po namin ang gagawin mo at ginagawa mo pa po sa aming pastor. Lord, Lord ganun din po kay, kay Sis Mini, Lord. Prayer for all. Schedule check up for retina, blood, glucose, cholesterol, x-ray, on the right thigh and ovaries, Lord. Ikaw po, Panginoon, ang uh, Diyos na pinaghinihinga namin, Panginoon. Nilalapit po namin siya sa iyo, Panginoon, Lord. Uh, dinggin mo po ang kanyang kahilingan, Panginoon. Alam ko po, Panginoon, na uh, lahat po ng kanyang magiging check-up ay magiging maayos po, Panginoon, sa biyaya at tulong mo, Panginoon. Sabi nga po, walang imposible sa iyo kung posible sa amin. Kung imposible sa amin, Lord, posible sa iyong lahat, Panginoon. Kaya ngayon pa lamang po, pinasasalamatan na po namin ang magiging check up po ni Sis Mini at uh, magiging maayos po ang lahat, Lord, sa wiyaya at tulong mo, Panginoon. Maraming maraming salamat po, Panginoon, sa ginagawa mo at gagawin mo pa po sa aming mga kapatid, Panginoon. Uh, ikaw po, Panginoon, ang siyang... Ang lahat po, Panginoon, ang humihingi ng mga complete healing. Andito pa po si Tita Pepot. Uh, ganun din po uh, sa carpal tunnel niya, Lord. Ganun din po ako sa left eye pain ko. Kaya Diana Santiago for Parkinson. Uh, ganun din po kay Patty. Contiguous healing, Lord. Si Tita May and Tito Ben sa kap po nila at saka yung result sa colonoscopy. Ganun din po kay Pastor Jong Hai, Hai Wang Lee sa kidney stroke. Si Tita Berna sa knee surgery. Mercedes B2, complete healing. Si, Pat, si Patrick Noel, able to walk to join the church. Si Ivan po, mental health. At si Pastor um, aming uh, DS Greg Yarman, sa dementia, Lord. Dalangin ko rin po, Panginoon, ang mga humihingi ng complete healing sa iyo, Panginoon. Ito po, Panginoon, ay dinudulog namin sa iyo, Panginoon. Kaawaan mo po sila, Panginoon, at bigyan ng kagalingan na nagmumula sa iyo, Panginoon. Alam ko po, Panginoon, hindi mo kami bibiguin, Panginoon, dahil sabi nga po, nga po, Panginoon, ikaw po ang aming great healer. Ganoon din po, i-provide mo rin po ang kanilang mga pangangailangan, Panginoon. At tagpuin mo po sila, Panginoon. Bigyan mo po sila ng mga bubuting mga doctors, Panginoon. Ganoon din po ang kanilang mga iinuming gamot. Maging maayos po ito, Panginoon. Uh, dalangin po namin, Panginoon, na uh, huwag mo po silang pababayaan, Panginoon. At uh, ngayon pa lamang po, Panginoon, pinasasalamatan na po namin ang kagalingan na ipagkakaloob mo sa aming mga kapatid na ito, Panginoon. Alam po namin, Panginoon, na ikaw ang Diyos na hindi nakakalimot sa iyong mga anak, Panginoon. Maraming maraming salamat po. Ngayon pa lamang po, pinasasalamatan na po namin ang mainam na result ng lahat ng mga uh, na ipag-pray namin na ito, Panginoon, mga kapatid namin ito. At alam po namin na sila po ay babalik sa iyo na nagpapasalamat dahil sila po'y pinagaling na, Panginoon. Maraming maraming salamat po at binabalik na po namin lahat ng pasasalamat, lahat ng papuri, Panginoon. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Salamat, Sister Josie. Ngayon, complete healing from cancer, Sister Josie, Panginoon, last time. Dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you for tonight, Lord, that we had an opportunity, Lord, to um just pray for one another. We are lifting up all these people for um complete healing from cancer. First, we are praying for Georgie Pondock Stevens and Edna Labyrinth over breast, Miss Rivas Uterus, 
Cortez Uy, Ovarian, Ricardo Madrid, and Rachel Longs, um, Noah de Guzman Bone. Um, Lord, you are the God who sees, the God who hears, and the God who provides, and the God who heals, Lord. Lord, we just lift up everyone in this list, and the people that they will be encountering, especially all the medical staff, Lord, may use them. Um, guide them and give them wisdom that is just truly coming from you, Lord. We are we also claim, Lord, that their bodies will um just positively respond to their treatments and all the medicines that they are taking, and that it will just be effective, Lord, in wiping out the um the cancer in their bodies, Lord. Truly, nothing is impossible with you, Lord. May also lead them to you, Lord. May they be reminded, Lord, that in your presence everything is possible. May you always um. Give them strength physically, emotionally, and also spiritually, Lord. Also, we pray that you will just um continue to provide for them and whatever they need, Lord, especially um with all the expenses related to their sicknesses, Lord. Bless them and su just sustain them, Lord. Um, and we believe that um you are the greatest healer. Touch them with your healing hands and let your healing power overflow through their bodies. And may you just unfailing love be with them, that they may see your mercies and may they just May this just be a season where they see your importance, Lord, in their lives. Lord, continue to bless each one of them and their families. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Giselle, for personal supplication. Uh, I'll link kindly lead us. Thank you. Dear Lord, we thank you for this wonderful evening, Lord God, that we are able to pray and commune with you, Lord God. And Lord, we pray for these special favors and requests. First, for uh, Job and CJ for their job interviews, Lord, um, may you prepare jobs for them um, where they can shine, they can be the salt and light, Lord God, that they can have an influence, Lord God, with their uh, peers and uh, um, bosses, Lord God, or supervisors, Lord. May, uh, may it be a, a, a help, Lord God, sa kanilang um, finan financial status, Lord God, that it will help um for their needs, Lord God, so they can also contribute to um, the church, Lord God. And um, please prepare them sa interviews and give them wisdom, Lord. And um, Lord, we pray for Lina, strength, healing for husband with stroke. Um, we pray for Tyron's Floorball Club, Vasal for unity, peace, and teamwork, Lord. We pray for Dave, New York Opportunity. We know his heart that he wants to serve you at church. Especially says praise and worship. Um, we pray that um, you would give him a favorable uh, schedule, especially where he is free and available during weekends, so he can um, join the team. Pray for a wedge to gain weight. Uh, pray for mommy of Tita LV for more strength, Lord God. We pray for Eva for peace with sisters, settle documentation needs, Lord. Pray for Lauren, Faith, or be behind the wheel exam. Pray for faith processing of papers and extension in the USA. Uh, Ate Faith has been um, a blessing, Lord God, to us, especially to our church, Lord God. May you give her her provision, peace, and direction, Lord God. Let everything be smooth, Lord God. And we know that um, you are with her, Lord God, and we trust in you. And we pray for Eva Janelle for their college applications, Lord. Prepare their prepare them, Lord God. Give them knowledge and wisdom. Favor, Lord. And um, we just pray that you would uh, uh, give them direction to a school where they they can develop their faith in you, Lord God, where you can use them mightily, Lord God, for your glory. Um, may you reveal your your uh, plan for them, Lord God. Uh, may you reveal uh, your purpose for them, Lord God. And um, thank you for their lives, Lord God. May you continue to use them, Lord God, for your glory. And we pray for the weddings of uh, Danny, Sister Mao, and uh, Shane and Almira. Um, we pray that um, they would um, you would prepare their hearts, Lord God, to go on to, to a deeper um, a deeper level, Lord God, to be to have you as their third chord, Lord God, to make it right with you, Lord Jesus. And Lord, we pray for Joshua uh, with green card and work ethics. We thank you, Lord God, that he uh, found a job. May you. Uh, continue to prosper him and um, may he still continue to seek you Lord even though um, he, he's not able to go to church Lord God 
Um, we pray that you will continue to use him, Lord God, mightily. Um, we pray for Lauren, Ivan, and Job to be more socially adjusted, Lord. Pray for Job and Beth Sahagon, uh, who have cataract surgery. May um, the surgery be successful, Lord God, and may it be a, a testimony of your goodness, Lord God. Pray for traveling mercies for John Marco, for Rachel and uh, Jairus, the Mamubats, the Semprons, Lord God. Keep them safe, Lord God. Um, give them favor, Lord God, uh, uh, checkpoints, um, favorable seats, Lord God's airplane, comfortable seats, and uh, <clears throat> comfortable flight, Lord. May they arrive there safe. May they enjoy their vacation. And um, please keep them safe as well as they come back here in the U.S., Lord. And um, may it be a fruitful um, trip, Lord God. Continue to protect and guide them. Keep them away from any danger, Lord. Um, Lord, you know the desires of everybody's hearts in this list, Lord God. And we just pray that um, your answers are on the way. Your, your your faithfulness and goodness and your power may be manifested through these, Lord God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Aldrin. Vince, uh, Allison, kindly lead us. Thank you. Lord God, we pray, Lord God, sa mga upcoming events for the church. We pray, Lord God, na palagi po namin susundin yung leading nyo, Lord Jesus, that it will not come from us, but from you, Lord God. Allow us to be sensitive to your Holy Spirit and to be sensitive to your voice. Allow us to hear you, Lord Jesus, and uh, magabayan nyo po itong mga events po na magaganap sa church namin. Such as uh, Friday po, um, yung Tenebrae service po, and for so Sunday naman po on the 31st, yung Resurrection Sunday, Lord Jesus. Na I pray, Lord God, na marami pong mabibless sa four testimonies na maririnig ng mga tao. Um, allow your Holy Spirit to go around, to freely roam around, Lord God, sa church namin and or sa courtyard, Lord Jesus, and sa puso namin, lalo na. And we also pray, Lord God, <clears throat> sa 24th to 27th, Friday to Monday, Lord God, sa spring family camp namin, na marami din pong mabibliss muli. And also sa Mother Day, Lord Jesus, I pray, Lord God, that... <clears throat> You will guide it and you will use this, Lord God, na mag-glorify kayo and maraming lumapit sa'yo, Lord Jesus, na mas makilala ka and na mas tumibay ang relationship, Lord God, with you. And we also pray, Lord Jesus, sa uh, LA District Joint Service, Lord God. We also pray for the upcoming Father's Day. And um, I we also pray, Lord Jesus, na... Sa leading nyo, sa right timing nyo, Lord Jesus, with um everything that follows through, Lord God, sa mga gusto nyo, such as mabibigay nyo yung resources and magiging smooth, Lord God, about sa mission trip, Lord God, and this is to be determined, Lord God, and this is to be determined by you. <clears throat> we also pray, Lord God, sa Youth Compassionate Ministry. Overall, Lord Jesus, um, we pray, Lord God, that these events, you will use us. Open our hearts, cleanse our souls, Lord Jesus, purify us. Allow yourself to move in us. Now, during these events, Lord Jesus, you will be able to use us to minister, to be able to serve you and to serve your people. We pray, Lord God, that during these events na magiging bukas sa puso namin, that we are doing this for you and not the, because it is um a responsibility or it will not, <clears throat> um hindi, hindi kami mabuburn out, Lord Jesus. Hindi kami papapagod. Give us the excitement, the energy na ma-uplift yung soul namin. Na ma-uplift, Lord God, yung pagmamahal namin sa inyo, Lord Jesus. And overall, this is all about you and it's not about us or the people that we are about to bring. But it's about you, Lord Jesus. And we pray, Lord God, na 
sa events na to, to get to know you and to love you and to have a relationship with you as well. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you, Alison, for popcorn prayer. Uh, anybody can start praying right now. Thank you. Uh, yes, Lord God, we come to you tonight, Lord, lift up, lifting up to you, Lord, our uh, church uh, family, oh Lord God. Just lift up to you, Lord God, those who are needing deliverance, Lord. Um, Lord, you know those people who really wanted to be delivered from smoking, delivered from uh, drinking. Panginoon, uh, kayo po ang patuloy na tumulong at uh, magbigay ng iyong kapangyarihan sa iyong mga anak na gusto na pa, Panginoon, kumawala sa 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 tawag ng laman Lord sa alak sa sa sa, sa sigarilyo at sa anumang mga bagay Panginoon na uh, tumatali sa kanila Panginoon sa pangalan mo Panginoon in Jesus name we just come to you tonight lifting up to you your people Lord you know you know you know whom these people are struggling oh God the work of the flesh But Lord this is the same spirit who raised up Jesus from the dead this is the same spirit who is working with us right now And there is nothing too hard for you. There is nothing too difficult for you to deliver your people from this. Panginoon, salam po sa buhay nila dahil nakakilala sila sa iyo, Panginoon. Nais po nilang talikuran, Panginoon, yung gawa ng laman. Kaya nga po sa gabing ito, Lord, by the, by the power, uh, by, by your power, we ask, We come to you, Lord, and lift up to you, Lord, our brothers and sisters. And Lord, uh, mga kapatid din, Panginoon, na, na Lord, going through some difficulties, depression, anxiety, they do not know where to find you. Panginoon, reveal yourself, O oh God, to them in a very personal way that they may be able, O oh God, to experience you. The true God, Panginoon, na tunay nga na nagbibigay ng kaligtasan, nagbibigay ng kagalakan sa puso ng bawat isa na willing, Panginoon, na makilala ka. Panginoon, maraming salamat po. And even for those people who are not going, hindi na po sila nakaka, nakakapagsimba, Panginoon. Bisitahin mo sila, Panginoon, even in their, in their dreams, even sa pagtulog nila, Lord, mangusap ka sa kanila, Panginoon. Kayo po ang patuloy na magpalakas, Panginoon, sa spiritual na pamumuhay ng iyong mga anak. Panginoon, salamat sapagkat hindi niyo po iniiwanan ang iyong mga anak. You never leave us nor forsake us. And uh, Father God, we just commit to your people. Lord, just specially pray for France. Thank you so much for this young person. Lord, uh, palaguin mo siya, Panginoon, sa pagkakilala niya sa inyo. At maging ilaw at asin siya, Panginoon, sa kanyang pamilya. Lord, maraming salamat po. Diyos, ang ilang Filinas family, continue to strengthen your people, continue to bless the workers, our leaders, and everyone whom you are bringing into our church every Sunday. Father, we thank you and we just commit to you, everyone. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, Lord God, we just want to come to you and um, look to you, Lord Jesus. I pray, Lord God, for everyone in the church, Lord Jesus, to be, to have like the peace of mind, Lord Jesus, to be with you, Lord God. And na uh, mas matuon pa po yung um, puso namin, isipan namin at matatamin sa inyo, Lord Jesus. Direct us to you all the time, Lord Jesus. We rebuke um, whatever the enemy plans to do, Lord Jesus, if the plan is If the enemy is trying to divert um, um, our minds, our heads, our hearts, Lord Jesus, with distractions, Lord Jesus, we rebuke it, Lord God. And, and we pray, Lord God, na you will move through our surroundings, Lord Jesus, such as yung sa workplace namin, sa studies namin, Lord Jesus, na hindi po yun mga makakaabala, Lord Jesus. Give us the flexibility, Lord God, that In that way, Lord God, that we will be able to be used by you, Lord Jesus. Yung mga tao na gusto din ma, na magamit sila to glorify you, Lord God. And um, Lord, we also pray, Lord Jesus, for um, more people to want to serve in a ministry para sa you, Lord Jesus. Not just to be happy, but be happy in you. Be happy to exalt you, Lord Jesus. We pray, Lord God, na magkakaroon pa po ng maraming worshipers, marami pa pong gustong mag-serve through Tech Team, Lord Jesus, that they won't want to 
be recognized by others, but just to be recognized by you, Lord Jesus. And also, Lord God, give people the heart, Lord Jesus, to also serve, Lord God, to kiss kids ministry lord jesus give them the heart to love the kids and um be curious and interested lord jesus of seeing these kids grow up and to your presence lord jesus and lord i also pray lord god um na coming mga teachers lord jesus give us the heart and the mindset lord jesus to keep on being focused on you na maging tama po yung mga may tuturo namin sa kids na it's all aligned sa iyo, Lord Jesus, and yung aligned ko ano yung gusto mo mangyari, Lord Jesus. And I pray, Lord God, that um through all circumstances, Lord God, ang nangyayari sa um, buhay namin ngayon, there, there are different things, Lord Jesus. We just pray, Lord God, na mabigat man, pero kakayanin because you are there. You are there to carry it with us, Lord Jesus. And overall, Lord God, give us guardians of angels, warriors of angels, open the heavens, Lord Jesus. And um, Lord, I, we know, I know that you see us. And na, Lord, in everyone, Lord God, na nakikinig ngayon, nagdadasal ngayon, and you mga makikinig, Lord Jesus, sa uh, prayer meeting na ito, Lord God, that you will bless them, that you will give them the heart, Lord God, that um, it is not a coincidence to be here right now, but it is um your plan lord god to have the heart to be here right now to pray lord jesus to pray for the people lord god all over the world as well lord jesus kahit sa congregation namin lord god and also our families kayo na po ang bahala cover us with the blood of jesus christ and walls of fire lord god in jesus name amen thank you jesus salamat po sa gabi nito panginoon sa yung mga salita na nagbibigay ng kalakasan sa amin at ng yung mayamang biyaya ay siyang patuloy naming nararanasan na even though Lord God na uh, uh, truly indeed that we are not exempted from experiencing troubles and fears in life but through your word O oh God as like in David's uh, song in Psalm 23 Even though we walk in the shadow of the valley of death, mm -hmm. we will fear no evil, for thou art with us. So, papasok man kami at nasa kalagitnaan hanggang sa palabas, Panginoon, through the valley of the shadow of death, in darkness or in any circumstances, you are always with us, Father God. Kaya salamat po sa gabing ito. At uh, tunay, Panginoon, na... Uh, kayo nga ang magpala sa bawat isa. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make His face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn His face towards you and give you peace. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Thank you, Pastor Bert. All right. Buksan ang ating mga bintana para sa ating uh, customary uh, Family picture taking. Okay, okay, okay. Don't forget on Friday, meron tayong um, uh, Friday the clusters. No, pero sa April 12, wala kasi natagal pa naman yun. Kasi uh, nag nag uh, nag uh, um, umingin ng favor ang Spanish congregation. Nagagamitin nila yung parking lot. So, eh, since isa tayo sa pinakamadaming kotse na pagpumupunta doon, eh, tayo na lang ay nagbigay dahan para sa kanila in support of their ministry. Alright? A one, a two, a three. Alright. Smile. There you go. God bless you guys. See you on Friday and Sunday. Bye. Good night. Good night. night. Bye. 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 Good night. Good night. Good night. <laughs> This one.